So the artificial intelligence changes not only the technology but also the approach to human development. Our next speaker is from Morocco, Redouan El Halawi, APEBI and FIA FADB, Director General and CEO of Redinov. So he will tell us how AI can help improve education, training, and project business needs. Radwan at Halloween welcoming the speaker. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for this big event. I uh, present myself that uh, I'm the president of uh, the Federation of APB. This is the federation from Morocco of ICT sector, 35 years old, and uh, we generate uh, $5 billion, all members, companies. But we have launched the Federation of African Digital Businesses with eight countries from Africa, from the north and east and west and the center. So it's very important for us because one thing that's very important for, for the professional is, is the competencies, the talent. That's why uh, the, the, the digital transformation is reshaping economic sectors and requiring rapid adaptation of professional skills. You have business, but in our sector, IT sector, and people know it, we need competencies. If you have some business and no competencies, you can do nothing. So it's very important to be competitive and to have to the best competencies, the best talent to uh, develop your, your business. So the AI will, uh, that we present you for, for today uh, is an innovative solution to address uh, this challenge, challenge, and particularly in the realm uh, of training and skill development. We, we have worked with the international, uh, or international labor organization. Um, in fact, uh, now, six years uh, since, uh, since uh, 2018, uh, many uh, um, found like World Bank right, or like uh, different country, European and different uh, uh, come to us and to say, what do you need? What competencies do you need? And uh, international labor organization uh, come with uh, uh, an approach that's very interesting for us about to uh, align the business needs of uh, the sector and also the, uh, the, the, the competencies and the, the training uh, programs. So after they propose us this, we think about to integrate AI with this approach to be more enhanced to develop competencies for our business. So, this winning comp combination, so what is the, the straight approach? It's, a, in fact, for international labor organization, uh, a methodology uh, to, to see the, the, the gap between the competencies and the need professional, and also to analyze, analyze, analyze this. Sorry for my English, because I, <laughs> in Morocco we speak in French. <laughs> That's why. Um, so, integrating the AI into the state approach, with data analysis, and we can identify the program training and uh, the, the content that can help different actors in uh, training centers to train the, the, the best and the good uh, uh, talent. So you have imagine, imagine with, with them a competence framework with different all actors, because actually in, uh, in uh, Morocco and different countries in Africa, schools and university thinking about what we need, thinking about what we need. And don't ask us what we need. It's, uh, it's a big problematic and you have a big gap between the, the talents with business that we coach and the talent that uh, don't respond about what we need. So, that's, so that's, it's very important to, to have a referential of skills. You know, in 20, some studies, uh, there is some studies that tell that in 2030, many competencies we don't know 
because the AI will uh, will, will push uh, the, the skills and uh, some skills will disappear, some skills will appear. And it's, it's important for us as professionals in the sector to identify fastly the competencies needed for us. So the competence framework is referential of all skills that we need in, uh, in Morocco and Africa. And all actors, universities, schools will consume these skills and train for what we need. This is simple, not difficult. So the AI will answer the, the needs of professionals through, through it, and the AI solution give us some flexibility and speed to identify for us uh, firstly. The AI solution, what it needs? Data. Data, they come from job boards, you know, professional when they they want some some competencies they will push in some jump boards i need uh, some uh, um, developers or coach agile etc etc so this is a good information for the ai to to analyze all job boards national international job boards to identify our business needs and uh, also after that we will see what the content, what training program that the schools, universities and different schools, we will also uh, use. And the, the competence framework is also referential, but also a governance is, uh, the, is important for, 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 for the training center that understood that we will not replace them. So AI will predict job evolution, helping us professional and stay competitive. I say business, I found business, but if I, not, if I have not competencies, it's difficult for me to answer and to respond to the, 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 this business. So, as I say, we will not replace training centers. No, this is their job. My job is to recruit only and have the best talent, best competencies for us. So it's, it's very important for, for us. The AI, I, ask, I had told you that AI will help to improve what is the best, uh, what is the future skills, but AI will help us to, to enhance the, the quality and efficiency of training. So AI powered, augmented and virtual Reality simulation provide practical skill building in realistic environment, and also real-time feedback for uh, the AI team system analyze the learner performance and the deliver instant feedback for continuous improvement. Also, yes, they also helped the AI to automatic to automat the automation of educational tasks. Uh, creation of tailored education trainings about the skills. Huh? You know, there is the referential skills, so we can uh, uh, identify the, the tailored uh, education, and also AI based in the competency assessment. And also the, the AI will help to do collaboration between the interaction, interaction between the learners and uh, the instructors identify collective gap between the uh, to find training uh, programs. So the needs of professional, the, the needs of business and professional are growing. First, so the, it's very important uh, if there is, we identify skills, training programs, but where is the trainers? Uh, you know, in the universities, in different schools, not public and private schools, uh, they are big evolution, but it's important to train trainers, to train trainers. It's very important. We have referential, we have AI, it's important to found tra trainers to, to, uh, for, 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 for lear learners that, uh, uh, to have the, the best quality in, the, in, the, in, um, in training. So we can say, well, can I find 
the, the train trainers, well, where is this? This train trainers, you can find it in uh, all sector. We know the market, we know what we need. So some experts can be also trained, can train trainers because they have the hard skills, okay? So for us, it's important to implement the continuous also upscaling program because there are many uh, uh, scales that's the future and uh, you know that it's also a study that uh, the hard skills has 24 months after that you will have another hard skills this is today that's told us that it's important to have continuous upscaling programs to ensure trainers stay aligned with industry advancement is very important utilize also AI to propose tailor training content. It's very important about the referential, the training trainers, but if I have tra training trainers, it's important to have the contents and AI help us to uh, uh, propose the tailor training content for them. And empower trainers to choose their own methodology. It's very important because, you know, we don't, don't want to say universities and school how to teach their pedagogy. So they keep their methodology. We have a referential of all skills that we need. They, there is also trained trainers, but after that, when they come back in their university and schools, we respect their methodology. And AI can help them about uh, to enhance their methodology approach of uh, the, the, the trainings in their schools. So this is, that's why you, we say <laughs> pedagogic, uh, pedagogical uh, freedom is very important for us. So the impact is for business faster and more aligned skill development, boosting competitiveness is very important for us because you know the market is big. Uh, today I was many countries with uh, their uh, they present their, their different solution, AI, etc. Also, there is a big competitiveness market, and that's important to be aligned. What happens? Very important for us. For learners, personalized and engaging a market-driven learning experience. It's, there is some mindset in uh, their universities and schools. It's very important to to be engaged and to understand what's happening, what's, what it happens about the, the market. And also for the national economies the, that improved the alignment between skill supply and demand supporting economic growth and employment. That's the big benefit for, the, for national economies. That's why this approach that uh, we have worked on it in Morocco, we will actually deploy in uh, the other countries in Africa. Uh, the, we have done a benchmark in international, present this approach in Korea, in Seoul, uh, about this, uh, the, the gap, how to, to reduce the gap between the professional needs and also the, the, the professional needs and the training sector. It's very important. Uh, it's, uh, uh, the International Labour Organization has told us that it's, uh, it's very important to, to go ahead on it in different, con uh, different countries uh, uh, and uh, mostly in, the, in uh, member founders that uh, I explained to you about the Federation of African of Digital Businesses. So, the conclusion, AI and state approach. A state approach, this is the methodology of international labor organization we have used, and this approach, uh, that uh, uh, approach is uh, using many years old in different countries and works, but us, we will enhance it with AI to develop referential of different skills, train trainers with AI that develop the, the content, uh, uh, content programs for, the, for trainings, okay? And uh, it's, uh, it's for us uh, the, the best approach for, uh, for between the professional 
and uh, different training center universities and schools, etc. And also a an unique opportunity uh, with AI by community foresight personalized uh, learning pathways and operational efficiency, AI presents a unique opportunity to accelerate scale transformation and ensure alignment with market demand. Thank you very much. Thank you for, for your attention. Thank you. Mr. Rodawan el -Hawi, thank you for your presentation. And we have one question for you from the audience. So pay close attention. It's quite complicated. What measures are being taken to ensure the ethical use of AI in skills management and to prevent possible negative consequences? Article. Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, so what do you do and how do you make sure that AI is used ethically? Ethically, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's very important, uh, this question. Um, for us, for example, when I was here, uh, I, I come here, I discovered GigaChat. And GigaChat, uh, we use also in uh, Morocco, ChatGPT and other. And I was um, very impressed by the answer in GigaChat and ChatGPT. And that's why a question about the Morocco and Africa and some information. That's why it's very important in the ethic code to cross information between different AI. And we, I am very happy to be here and to see that there are very nice, very powerful intelligence and television in, uh, in Russia. Okay, okay, thanks so much. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you. you for your answer. And we've got one more question. So, Mr. Uh, Rodon, oh, yeah, can I keep you for one more question? Uh, so, the second <laughs> one is uh, what are the prospects of further development of AI in Morocco in the context of skills management? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, AI now, uh, we are working for two things, three things, security, cyber security, medical, health, and education. That's the, and the, the different skills that uh, we are looking for is uh, the people that, that know how to use different API of different uh, intelligence artificial. It's very important for us. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank Mr. You. Radon Al Khaloui. Thank you for thank you very much. Uh, your knowledge and for your experience you've shared with us. Thank you so much and thank, thank you for your visit. Thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.